Hi guys, it's Stacy, and today I'm here to do my July wrap up. I read five books in July, um, and we're just gonna get into it because I don't feel like filming for that long today. So if I seem a little out of it, I'm a little sick right now. So anyway, let's get into it. So the first book I read in July was Thunderhead by Neil Shusterman. This is the sequel to Scythe, and I gave this four out of five stars. I enjoyed it a lot more than I enjoyed Scythe. Um, I gave Scythe like a three stars. I thought it was all right, but this one I enjoyed so much more. The ending was not what I expected, and I'm very excited for The Toll, which is the third book to this. Um, but this series is just super unique, and I love the concept of nobody dies unless a Scythe gleans you. And I love Citra. I love where her character went in this story. It was just a grand old time. I teared up a little bit towards the end. If you know what happens with you know who and everything. But it, I teared up. Teared up a little bit. But it was really good. I gave it four to five stars. I'm super excited to read The Toll whenever it comes out. The next book I read was The Silent Patient, and this is an adult psychological type thriller about a woman who is convicted of shooting her husband in the face and then never speaking again. It follows um, a doctor at the psychiatric hospital that she lives at, um, and I gave this four to five stars. This was going so good for me. It was almost a five stars, but I don't enjoy how the ending came to be. I just feel like there was one thing after another and it just kind of got redundant. Like, oh, then this happened. Oh, then actually this. And oh, this was their real motive. Like, it is, it was all right. Um, I enjoyed most of it. Most of it was, oh my God. If you can hear, if you can hear anything behind me, Betty is back there. You can't really see her, but she's doing whatever Betty does. But four to five stars. Didn't really care for the ending, but the rest of the book was really, really good. And next I read Escape from the Isle of the Lost by Melissa De La Cruz. This is the fourth book in the Descendant series. I gave this 3.5 out of 5 stars. I got super emotional reading this book. Um, I am, I just adore, I just adore this book series and the movies. And, you know, since Cameron Boyce has passed away, I cried a little bit. Um, reading this but I love the movies I love the books the movie comes out tomorrow so I'm gonna be watching it and I got super emotional while reading this the next book is one of my least favorite books I've read this year and that was Blood Sisters by Jane Corey I gave this two out of five stars um really did not like this if you're gonna read this trigger warning for rape self-harm murder anything under the sun um this follows a girl named Kitty who can't speak and then a girl named Allison who's hiding a secret. Um, I'm not gonna say anything more than that but this one also got super redundant of like Allison's motives behind what was she doing and um, I wasn't a big fan of the representation of self-harm self and mental illness in this book. That is just my opinion from what I deal with. This wasn't the greatest rep for me, but it might be for somebody else. But I did not like this. Two to five stars. Um, was a very disappointing thriller. I read it pretty quickly because it is easy to read, but like, was it worth it? Not really. And the last book I read was so freaking cute, and that was The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. I gave this four to five stars. Um, I got super emotional while reading this too. Um, loved it. I adore the writing style. I love, love, love Helen's writing. Of course, I loved Michael. He was so freaking cute. And Stella was adorable as well. Everybody knows what this book is. I loved it. I can't wait to read The Bride Test. And whenever um, Quan, Michael's cousin, is getting his own book as well. And I'm so excited for that because what little we saw of him in this book, I loved. So those are all the books that I read this month and I will see you guys in another video.